Good evening, everyone. <clears throat> Welcome to Neshaminy School Board, Tuesday, February 22nd, 2022, uh, public board meeting. Ms. Burns, may I have a roll call, please? Mr. Allen? Present. Mrs. Hellenbeck? Present. Mrs. Bowman? Here. Mr. Kovitz? Here. Mrs. Lafferty? Here. Mr. Parentano? Here. Mr. Cirillo? Here. Mr. Sporny? Here. And Mr. Sullivan? Present. Uh, we have a quorum. Of course I will. Thank you. We all rise. The board met in executive session this evening prior to this meeting to discuss matters of employment, issues related to labor relations, the purchase or lease of real property, matters related to litigation, and matters related to school safety and security. Announcements, Ms. Burns, we have any announcements? No announcements. No announcements. That brings us to Dr. McGee and your superintendent's report, please. Thank you, Mr. Allen. Uh, as you came in, hopefully you enjoyed the artwork by our students at Ferdabar Elementary School and Pequessing Middle School. Uh, they had the month of February. Uh, so I'd like to thank them and look forward to next month's participation. Um, as far as COVID, uh, if you haven't noticed, the things are dropping as quickly as they raised uh, over the past uh, several months. And uh, the administration is actively working on the phasing out of existing mitigation strategies. And I'll have an email to the community and the board uh, within the next couple of weeks as to how, how that plan will progress. Um, academically, uh, though you probably haven't noticed, but we have our curriculum back up on the website. Uh, thanks to Ms. Uh, Burkholder and Ms. Mr. Bowman. Uh, what parents and the community will find there are uh, the detailed uh, teacher version of curriculum, uh, the step-by-step -step, uh, content and standards aligned curriculum. That said, uh, for those that want a simpler version, they've also done a one-pager. Uh, so what, what does my child learn in chemistry or what does my child learn in fourth grade social studies is also there. Uh, so you can, uh, one, peruse that and surprise your children at the dinner table by asking them, so you learned about a polymer this week. What exactly is it? Um, that's academics, and uh, Michelle will be giving, Michelle Burkhalter will be giving us a, uh, a view of that, of that website at the March work session. Finally, a, a, <coughs> excuse me, a co-curricular event. Does anyone know what began in 1954 in the Chamonix? Jim Knight. Jim Knight. It didn't take very long. Uh, so Jim, Jim Knight is upon us again. I, we used to be able to say every year since 1954, but last year we messed that up. Uh, it was started by a gentleman by the name of Harry E. Franks in 1954, uh, and it starts with the parting of the colors, a very cer cer ceremonious event where our seniors come in holding hands, uh, mixed together, or they loop around the gymnasium, and then an honored guest uh, fires them up and says it's time to part the colors, at which time they leave their friends and move to the blue side and the red side. Uh, that division in the community in, in, uh, in the school lasts for uh, approximately 30 hours. Uh, and sometimes it lasts uh, gen genetically throughout, uh, throughout, uh, throughout the, community, uh, the, the, uh, the community as well. Uh, it is not a, what others do as far as gym night where there's exclusively relays. This is a rather sophisticated relay event but also is probably uh, uh, more attuned to a dancing event where uh, students do a lip sync dance. Uh, th this year's theme is dancing throughout the decades. I've heard a lot of Michael Jackson walking around gym, gym one lately, uh, so I can't wait to see the event. And the best part is when it's all over, uh, after those 30 so some, some hours of red versus blue, blue, they bring the school back together and rejoin the colors. Uh, so on the first weekend of March, it's time to part the colors. And uh, if you want to learn about the gym night history, it's up on the high school website. So, Mr. Allen, that's my, that's my report. Okay, thank you, Dr. McGee. That brings us to first round of public comment. 
Uh, Sign-ups for agenda items. Do we have any sign-ups? Stephen Linden. Please state your name and your place of residence and be mindful there's three-minute time limit. Thank you. I'm Steve Linden from Feasterville, and I'd like to provide us with uh, some additional perspective. In the recent past, I've tried to shed some light on the characteristics of this board, this district, in relation to some others. Of course, locally, I think Pensbury sadly stands alone in stark contrast to where we here in the Chamonix. However, I think it's of utmost importance for us to realize that many of the issues that are of great concern to us are handled quite differently in other locales, and therefore they manifest themselves as such. Therefore, please note the following. Data compiled by William Jacobson, a Cornell University law professor and founder of criticalrace.org, discloses that of the 25 most elite K through 12 private schools, seven had some form of mandatory training for students as the CRT, and a staggering 20 of 25 had some sort of curricular requirement change based off of CRT. Why is this important to us? Because like it or not, students from these schools will populate our elite universities, who will in turn attempt to strictly control all aspects of academia, and who will in turn funnel down to all aspects of local education. A bill in the Rhode Island legislature, for example, Rhode Island House Bill 7166 supports and promotes activities such as a middle school assignment using pizza as a metaphor for various sexual activities. This has drawn a windfall of ire from parents in two separate New England states. The assignments likens cheese to kissing and olive topping to a form of sex as examples to help students complete the task of listing their own sexual metaphors based on pizza toppings and their ingredients. So, thank you, Board of Nishamini. Thank you, Dr. McGee. Thank you, all concerned parents, that we differ from these locales so drastically. And what is on our agenda is more about the community as a whole. And by the way, it's wonderful to see us all unmasked out there in that audience. And once again, always remember, freedom is just one election away from extinction. Once again, thank you to this board for a great job. Thank you. There was no further sign-ups. That brings this round of public comment to a close. There will be a second later in the agenda. Uh, I am at routine matters, <clears throat> 2.01 minutes, uh, resolved that the Neshaminy Board of School Directors hereby approves the attached minutes for the January 25th, 2022 public board meeting and the February 8th, 2022 public work session. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? abstentions that motion passes uh, and that is nine zero we are nine tonight right nine zero two point oh two treasurer's report resolved that the Nishamini Board of School Directors hereby approves the attached treasurer's report for January two thousand twenty two do I have a second Second by Mr. Peritano. Are there any questions on the Treasurer's Report by the Board? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Opposed? Abstentions. Motion passes 9-0. 2.03, check register and procurement card purchases. Resolved <clears throat> that the Neshaminy Board of School Directors hereby ratifies and affirms the attached check register and procurement card purchases for January 2022. Do I have a second? Second. Second. Good morning. 
but Marty, sorry. <laughs> Any discussion? Does uh, are there any questions on the check register by the board? Now, hearing none. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Abstentions. Motion also passes nine zero. Two point oh four bids. Um, just like to note that the board, uh, on uh, request of the facilities committee, has tabled the trash removal bid of pending further um, review. So that brings us to resolved that the Neshaminy Board of School Directors hereby approves the attached bid for February 2022 and is for the purchase of 10 buses. Do I have a second? Second. Second by Mr. Kovitz. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstentions? That motion passes 9-0. Mr. Chair, just at this time, yes. I think it might be prudent to explain that uh, the, that the, uh, the board has been, uh, through the last couple uh, yearly cycles, trying to update our bus fleet as, as much as possible within the limits of our budgetary concerns and, and also the grant money we receive sometimes, and we've committed ourselves to at least replace uh, buses on a 10-year schedule, and we're trying to do 10 every year. A couple of years ago, we were only able to do seven, but uh, this has been an ongoing uh, process by which we're trying to make sure that our, our transportation for our students is, is up to the highest standards. And of course, with new products, a greater level of efficiency uh, comes and less maintenance. So uh, we've supported this over years. I'm glad to see we continue to move uh, forward in this direction. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Pertana. 2.05 investments. Resolved that the Neshaminy Board of School Directors hereby ratifies and affirms the attached investments for January 2022. There was a final issue. Any questions from the board on the investment sheet? I need a second first, though. Second. <laughs> Second by Ms. Hollenbach. She beat you. Is three under the bus again? <laughs> Any discussion from the board after we fix the table there? <laughs> oh my God, this meeting today. That's why you put me in this spot. Oh, it's actually Frank. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. It's be a good time. A motion for a new board table <laughs> and structure. <laughs> okay. All right. There was a motion. Uh, there was a second by Ms. Hollenbeck. Uh, any <clears throat> further discussions? Hearing none. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Opposed? And abstentions. Motion passes 9-0. 2.06, exonerations. <clears throat> Resolved that the Neshaminy Board of School Directors hereby approves the attached exonerations for January 2022. Do I have a second? Second. Second by Mr. Cerullo. Any board comment? Seeing none, all in favor? Aye. Opposed? Abstentions. Motion passes 9-0. That brings us to agenda item three at personnel administrative. Mr. Peritano, please. Thank you, Mr. Allen. Uh, item 3.01, revised NASA Act 93 agreement. Be it resolved that the Neshaminy Board of School Directors approves the revised Act 93 agreement for the Neshaminy Administrative Support Association, NASA, Effective February 23rd, 2022. There's a motion on the floor. Do I have a second? Second. Second by Marty. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Abstentions. Motion passes 9-0. <laughs> right, that brings us to, uh, 
So, um, item 3.02, appointments. Resolved that the Neshaminy Board of School Directors hereby approves the following appointments of administrative staff, and there are two names associated with the motion. Thank you, Mr. Bertano. Um, do I have a second? Second. Second by Mr. Sporny. Any discussions? Then, seeing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstentions? Motion passes 9-0. I welcome those people to Neshaminy School District. Brings us to four, agenda item four, personnel certific certificated. Mr. Sullivan, please. Mr. Allen, would you like me to make a master motion uh, for all these categories? Yes, please. Okay. I'd like to make a master motion to improve 4.01 retirements, resignations, and of assignments, 4.02 appointments, 4.03 leaves of absence, 4.04 revised leaves of absence, 4.055 revised returns from leave, 4.06 co-curricular resignations, 4.07 co-curricular appointments, and that's it. There is a motion on the floor. Do I have a second? Second. Second by Ms. Bowman. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Any abstentions? Motion passes 9-0. I'd like to make a master motion for personnel support 5.01 retirements, resignations, end of assignments, 5.02 appointments, 5.03 leaves of absence. There is a motion on the floor. Do I have a second? Second. Second by Mr. Kovitz. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Any abstentions? The motion passes 9-0. Business operations? Business operations, Mrs. Hollenbeck, please. I'd like to make a motion for 6.01 elementary food service line improvement approval. Resolved that the Neshaminy Board of School Directors hereby approves the following purchase of equipment for upgrades to school serving lines for Hoover, Miller, and Vertebar. There's a motion on the table. Do I hear a second? Second. Second by Mr. Cerullo. Any board discussion or questions on this item? At this time, could we have uh, Mr. Irwin just give some background on, on these uh, particular uh, items for the school cafeterias? Yes, th these items are being, um, let me back up. Th this, this year, because all children are receiving free and reduced lunch uh, throughout, the, throughout the country, and particularly here at Neshaminy, uh, the cafeteria fund is doing very well. And this is an opportunity for us to reinvest some of our proceeds from that windfall that we're having this year back into the students' uh, lines, if you will, uh, both at Hoover and at Miller. In addition to Furtabar, there's going to be a, 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 a walk-in freezer also purchased there to improve the overall process and effect effectiveness and efficiency uh, to feeding the students' lunch there at that elementary building. And the district is paying this from the windfall of money that we received from the program with Aramark, correct? Yes, this is all, this is all being uh, fully supported cash-wise from the uh, food service program. That's correct. Thank you, Mr. Irwin. Seeing no further board comment, all in favor? Aye. Opposed? Abstentions? Motion passes 9-0. 6.02 Sunday facility usage. Whereas, according to board policy 800, facilities fields may not be scheduled on Sundays without school board approval. 
Now, therefore, be it resolved that the Neshamini Board of School Directors hereby approves Sunday usage for, and there's two names listed on here. Motion on the floor. Do I have a second? Second by Mr. Sporney. Any questions from the board? Seeing none, all in favor? Aye. Opposed? Abstentions? Motion passes 9-0. That brings us to agenda item seven, educational development. Mrs. Bowman, please. I'd like to make a motion, 7.01, student settlement agreement. Whereas the Neshaminy School District has outlined a private and confidential agreement with the family of student number seven, XXXXXXX1. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the Neshaminy Board of School Directors hereby approves providing for educational programming as specified in said agreement. Motion on the floor. Do I have a second? Second. Second by Mr. Cerullo. Um, all in favor? Aye. Opposed? Abstentions? Motion passes All right, I'd like to make a motion for 7.03 overnight trips, whereas according to board policy number 618, trips extending overnight are permitted by authorization of the Board of School Directors only. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the Nishamani Board of School Directors hereby approve the overnight trips listed below, and there are six trips planned. Motion's been made. Do we have a second? Second by Mr. Kovitz. Any discussion on those trips? I have question. a question about number one. Um, just because it's so far in advance, are there contingency plans in case something happens and, you know, the sky starts falling again because it's not until 2023? Like, are the kids going to be protected? Yes. My apologies. I was on the other one. What was the question? Ms. Alba? The AE education. To Hawaii, are there contingencies yes. in place since it's so far advanced and yes. God only knows what will happen? So uh, if you recall, well, you probably don't recall, when the, back when we, this all began in uh, the winter of 2020, we had an AE trip scheduled to Italy. Uh, so we were begin to, uh, so we uh, parents for the most part were held harmless in that process uh, based on pandemic policy. Uh, so since then, we now require parents to purchase the insurance as well. Okay. Uh, and then it's clear up front what is their loss if they cancel or we cancel, et cetera. Uh, so this is the biannual every other year trip. Uh, and usually it goes to Europe, but we're not ready to go there yet. We're not ready to go there yet. Hawaii's got really strict uh, yeah, yeah. Well, that's, that's why I asked the question about it. Right. So uh, the actual company we use is the same company we used during that spring of, I'm losing track of the years, was it 2020? Uh, and we worked with them extensively. Uh, actually, we were trying to get the trip to go before we shut down as to what the process was in closing it down. So we did all that work. So uh, I'm very comfortable that uh, uh, parents will be fully aware of what the exposure is and will minimize the exposure based on based on our okay, now I, knowledge. Yeah, yeah. Closed at the moment, yep. so hopefully it's open. Okay, thank you. 
Do we vote on that? All in favor? Aye. <laughs> I get lost in my thought process. But, uh, opposed? Abstentions? Hearing none, that motion passes 9-0. Ms. Bowman, you want to bring us back to 7.02? Yeah, I'd like Excuse to make me. a... Oh, I'm sorry. I was going to say I could read it for you, but if you have one, that's fine. I have it right in front of me. Okay, great. I'd like to make a motion 7.02 out of district placements, whereas in order to meet the educational programming needs of specific students, it may be advantageous to utilize the services of out-of-school providers. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the Neshaminy Board of School Directors hereby approves the out-of-district placements identified below. And there are three students listed. Thank you, Ms. Bowman. There is a motion on the floor. Do I have a second? Second. A second by Mr. Cerullo. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstentions? That motion passes 9-0. Thank you. Seven point zero four. I'd like to make a motion um, waive Keystone exam proficiency as a graduation requirement for the class of 2022. Whereas Board Policy 217 graduation was approved and adopted by the district on May 22nd, 2018, in accordance to the Pennsylvania. Department of Education and local district requirements that all students achieve a proficient status level on state and local assessments. Whereas board policy 003 permits the board to suspend a board policy by a majority vote. Now therefore be it resolved that in accordance with board policy 003, the Neshaminy Board of School Directors hereby approves the, hereby approves the temporary suspension of the graduation requirement language noticed in noted in policy 217 that a student that a student achieve a proficient level on state assessments for the graduation class of 2022 at Nishamini. There's a motion on the floor. Do I have a second? Second, second by Mr. Piritano. Uh, is there board questions or comments on this motion? I do. Could we elaborate on the motion, please, Dr. Sure. Ricky? Um, Presently, the Keystone exams are in algebra, biology, and literature, 10th grade literature. Uh, and next year, uh, the graduating class will have a state requirement uh, to be proficient on them. We talked about that at the last meeting as to how we're going to get them there. Presently, there's a local graduation requirement that students are proficient on this, and we have our own system to make sure that they graduate if they're struggling with the test to make sure they get um, uh, assistance on the topic, but yet it, it, passing a test is not the, uh, the gatekeeper to a diploma. Over the past one, two, now three years, we've had one, uh, a lack of a test in the first year, and I will say a somewhat uh, altered instructional plan during year two, and this year a somewhat less altered instructional plan. But so uh, I actually, I, I believe holding that as the, uh, the standard is no longer appropriate for this particular graduating class, and we should uh, relieve them of that, of that, of that burden and, and uh, continue on as we did the class of 2021. Okay. I right, thank you. Any further questions? Brings us to a vote. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Abstentions? Motion passes 9-0. All right, that brings me to motion 7.05. BCIU number 22, 2022-23, Program and Services and Instructional Materials and Research Services Budget. Whereas the Neshaminy School District is one of the 13 school districts in, the Buc in Bucks County that utilizes the services of the Bucks County Intermediate Unit number 22, and whereas the Neshaminy School District contributes to the support of the Bucks County Intermediate Unit, and Whereas the school code requires that the intermediate unit budget be presented and acted upon by the board of school directors. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the Neshaminy Board of School Directors hereby, hereby approves 
the Bucks County Intermediate Unit Programs and Services and Instructional Materials and Research Services budget for 2022-2023 in the amount of $2,171,414 with our District 2 share to be 61,160,11. I hope I read that correctly. <laughs> There's like too many decimals in the last one. That's it. Okay, thank you. There's a motion on the floor. Do I have a second? Second. Second, yeah. second by Mr. Kovitz. Any comments or uh, explanation on that? Darwin or, or whoever. Where, there's, where does that stand in relation to last, our share of last year's budget? I will take a shot at that. It's very similar. Okay. Very, there, there's nothing, uh, nothing substantially different okay. about it. Uh, so this is, uh, this is not the entire IU budget. This is just Agreed. a particular piece Agreed. of it, programs Understood. and services. Okay. Thank you. Seeing no further questions, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstentions? That motion passes 9-0. I'd like to make a motion for 7.06, 2022-2023 student school year calendar. Whereas each year the Board of School Directors must establish an official school calendar for the coming year and whereas the Board of School Directors reviews the proposed calendar at the February 8th, 2022 public work session and whereas the proposed calendar was forwarded for comments to each of the employee bargaining groups now therefore be it resolved that the Nishamini Board of School Directors hereby adopts the attached school calendar for the 2022-2023 school year be it further resolved that the Board of School Directors specifically designates November 25th December 26th and December 29th 2022 and April 6th and April 7th, 2023, as the official local school district holidays in accordance with 24 PS section 15 1502. Thank you. There is a motion on the table. Do I have a second? Second. Second by Mr. Cerullo. Any discussions on the calendar? Dr. McGee, uh, at this time, uh, just to make it easy for the public here and watching at home, could you just give the noticeable uh, beginning of school, end of school, dates. I don't know if you, ha oh, you don't have them all fan. Okay. The calendar is uh, very similar this year. We begin on a Wednesday, I believe it's September 1st. I was on the wrong board meeting because I forgot a motion. Hold on. So um, staff begins back on August 29th, and on Wednesday, August 31st, our kindergarten, fifth grade, and ninth grade begin school. On Thursday, September 1st, uh, all students report to school. And then we proceed uh, very similar to as we've done uh, this year with uh, the end of school uh, weather permitting, being June 16th with a tentative graduation date of June 14th. 2023 underscore italicized tentative <laughs> thank you dr mcgee <coughs> seeing no further discussion all in favor aye. aye opposed abstentions motion passes nine zero brings us to agenda item eight policy mr. Cerullo please thank you mr. Allen I'd like to make a motion to approve 8.01 second reading of policy whereas the first reading of policy 903 626 and series 200s 
uh, 200, 200 pupils was completed at the public work session on February 8th, 2022. And whereas the following policies are being recommended by the policy committee for board adoption into the Neshaminy School District Policy Manual. And you see the revisions listed below. Thank you, Mr. Cerullo. Uh, excuse me, you just need to resolve to adopt them. There was a, uh, looks like maybe there's a line missing, I'm not sure. So you can just resolve to uh, to adopt them and just go ahead and list them since we don't have the oh, language. Okay, so now therefore be it resolved um, to to uh, to approve to be adopted. Um, number nine three. Got it. Number uh, nine zero three. Uh, public participation board meetings. Number six two six. Federal fiscal compliance. Uh, number 215, promotion and retention. Number 223, use of motor vehicles. Number 229, student fundraising. Number 231, social events and class trips. Number 231.1, class trips, classroom extensions. And number 246, school wellness. Thank you. Motion has been made. Do I have a second? Second. Second by Mr. Puritano. Is there any discussion on that? <clears throat> Seeing none. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? And abstentions. Motion passes 9-0. Is there any other board business? I'm addressing the board, not Ms. Burns this time. Um, I just wanted to, for other board business, it's just more of a comment, hot off the presses. Middletown approved us for the Fields Project 5-0, so we will be moving forward with the high school Fields Project. Excellent. Didn't know we were in front of the Middletown Township uh, supervisors this evening uh, with our legal and uh, Paul Meehan to plead our case, and apparently they won, so good news. <laughs> Very good news. That brings me to 9.02, which is our second round of public comment. Um, there's a three-minute time limit. The podium is open. Anyone? Any takers? Bueller. Bueller. <laughs> Seeing none. <laughs> that brings us to 9.03, board comment this evening. Sorry. That's right. I, I have no comment. <laughs> How's that work out for you, <laughs> But he said he had no comment. See, I knew he that, knew that yet again. Yeah. Intuitively, he knew. <laughs> All right, I apologize, Dr. Um, that brings us to, let's start at this end of the table and work our way around. I'm good. I have no comment this evening. Thank you. No comment. Um, I just want to take a, a moment to thank everybody for coming out. Um, uh, I appreciate uh, Mr. L uh, Linden is in his comments at the podium. Um, you know, every night on the news, and I should stop watching the news. I think sometimes all of us should stop watching the news. Um, you know, I, I, I hear these things about how bad school boards are and all these bad things that school boards are doing. And, and um, you know, I, I wish those uh, reporters would come here to Neshaminy and uh, see what happens when a board is transparent and open and encourages the public's participation. I'm not saying we're perfect. I'm sure we've done plenty of things that, you know, people aren't happy with, and I'm sure we can all talk about that. <coughs> but, you know, the, the big part of this job is, is common sense. And um, I'm, I'm glad to say there's no shortage of it around here, both from the board members and from the administration and, and, and the staff as, as well. Um, we're here to educate, not indoctrinate, and um, I think uh, overall uh, we do a very good job of it. I'm very uh, happy when the public comes out and, and tells us we do a good job, and to be honest, I'm also happy when they tell us we're doing a bad job because we, we need to know because we're here to represent the public. So um, I just appreciate you know those comments, and like I said, I'd like to start hearing some nice things about school boards on the news but I, I don't think that's that's going to happen. So thank you. Sorry, Mr. Swain. Sorry, 
Sure, I can make a, a quick comment. Um, uh, nothing to do with any uh, policy or, or things like that, but just something that uh, I wanted to mention here that I witnessed firsthand. Um, a few weeks ago, I, I have children at, at Buck, at Pearl Buck here in Langhorn or Levittown, um, and I was picking them up uh, from school, um, and, and I thought this was so worth mentioning. Uh, so I, I, I pick them up. There's the line that you go around, and you stop your car and the whole thing, and my two little kiddos get in the car and jump in, and um, to my to my right, uh, someone was trying to walk across the street. Now this person was uh, helping an individual that um, mobility is aided um, by a wheelchair. Uh, so this person was all dressed in their bright yellow jacket and things like that. Um, so this person, I, I let them walk across and, and kindly uh, walk across, um, and this person was the principal. Um, so I, I just took uh, note of that. I was so impressed. Um, I'm so impressed by actions as you know, as opposed to words and things like that. Um, and I just wanted to, to mention that, uh, Mr. Kern. Uh, you know, great job. Uh, you are a leader. Um, I was trying to look up quotes. I love quotes, um, and, and really the only quote I could find that that uh, matched it was, um, "Leadership is not a position or a title. It is an action and example." Um, and I, I thought that couldn't. Um, couldn't find anything better to summarize uh, what I witnessed there. So, so I'm sure there's thousands of things every day all across the district um, that happened uh, for the kids and, and the community and things like that. Um, but that was just something that I witnessed firsthand uh, that I want to to recognize here. Very good. Very good. Mm -hmm. Mr. I have nothing at this time, Your Honor. <laughs> I just wanted to wish everybody a great gym night. I don't think we'll be here before then. No, we won't. We won't, so don't forget. I think they're still taking peanut butter and jelly donations, so you can bring those. They're going to go to – oh, they're stopped. Okay, I'm sorry, but go blue. No comment. All right, thank you all for attending the meeting this evening and participating. As Mr. Piertano said – our job gets, I'm going to say better, because, you know, if we are working in a vacuum and we are not hearing from the community, we're not doing our job. And that's not good for our students and the community. So coming out, at voicing your opinions, whether you send us emails, whatever, keep, keep it up. We appreciate it. It does help. Um, Comments uh, I wanted to make were, again, I am thrilled that the Fields Project has moved off what seemed like a dead stop. We weren't moving forward on that. Um, I I'm thrilled to hear that, that we've gotten approval to move ahead. I understand Mr. Sporney went out with our architect and engineers and walked the field on behalf of the um, facility committee. Do you have a any comments on that or of your visit? Um, sure. Sounds like I have to. Um, yeah, I, I did walk it. So I, I walked it uh, with the engineer, um, with the high school principal. Um, Mr. Irwin uh, was there, and I believe our uh, director of facilities, uh, Mr. Maloney. Um, it's a great project. It's a big project. Uh, I personally played uh, sports in the stadium uh, many years ago, um, so I you know, selfishly wanted to see what was going on. Um, there's a, a plans for a large... Uh, um, structure building entrance uh, building underway uh, that will replace the uh, what I'll call small sheds at the moment um, entering the the stadium uh, full uh, renovation of the stadium uh, field itself uh, mill and uh, new overlay of the uh, track itself um, everything uh, I, w I was happy to see. I, I had a lot of questions. I'm an engineer. I have uh, thousands of questions. When I asked them, I have a thousand more. Um, so I was really happy to see that everything um, was pretty logical. Um, all of the new renovations were being kept in place or, over the last couple of years. Uh, that have, things that, that have been redone, that's all staying. Um, and everything that, uh, as I was walking around, uh, everything uh, made sense. Um, so that was the stadium uh, itself. Um, and then as you... Uh, for anyone very familiar with that area, uh, when you head out, there's the what I'll call the practice uh, football field. Um, that is being uh, pretty much fully redone. Um, new turf, uh, new small stands, I believe. 
uh, things like that, uh, and then entering up uh, to the tennis courts. Uh, what's now six tennis courts will be eight. Um, the baseball field uh, will get uh, new uh, grass will become turf. In addition to that, uh, almost all of the um, infrastructure around the uh, the baseball stadium, the uh, backstop, and the the player. Uh, all sorts of yeah, I'm not a baseball player, obviously. So uh, all, all of uh, all, all of uh, that area is getting redone, um, and then uh, all the way across the property on the other side, the softball uh, field is getting redone. But but really, my takeaway is that it's a fantastic project. I'm really looking forward to seeing all that come to fruition. Um, and I left it uh, left that meeting definitely uh, very positive about everything that was going on. Thank you. I said the fields project is one thing I think we can all agree on that regardless of where our children start their education, they all end up there at Heartbreak Ridge at some point, most definitely graduation. So the that we can make that our, our fields, the stadium updated for this century <laughs> is all good. Well, let's not forget this project started as a new field for the, Correct. For the uh, Correct. field hockey team. And Correct. three and a half years ago, and somehow it's now morphed into a uh, total complex, which which it's needed. It's it's time uh, that we bring these facilities uh, up. Uh, it wasn't done when they rehabbed the, the high school because of costs at the time. Um, now I just think we're in a. I just say that just to get Mr. Uh, Allen excited, but <laughs> uh, but it's 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 time that we uh, match. Uh, the surrounding districts and, and offer similar fields of play, uh, which will have better use and more use. more use. And we'll be able to expand our teams for uh, sports for, for the children that, that are there looking for it. So, so we'll move forward. Thank you. And those comments on the field project, other than thumbs up to us all. Uh, I want to thank administration and Dr. McGee for getting us to where we are with our COVID mitigation. I, uh, you know, without getting into too much detail, we had no idea where this was going back March 2020 when suddenly the doors shut, kids were on buses and had no idea when we were getting them back in. It has been a long struggle that we are here. I don't want to take a victory lap just yet, but I'm um, um, in the starting blocks. We're getting there, and I, I just can't wait <laughs> till, till we no longer have to talk about. I, I know more about infectious diseases than I ever thought I ever needed to know, just by sitting on a school board. Who knew? Um, that brings me to the STEM. Um, Mr. Kovitz, could you remind me the date on that? March 29th. March. Steam Expo. Steam Expo. I know he says steam. I say STEM. The. Uh, Add the art in, nothing, just I come from, come from the mechanical world. <laughs> and Jim Knight, as we said, uh, this was, um, I believe, the highlight of the district. And what happens at Jim Knight, the, the separation of the colors, it, it's uh, extremely ceremonial. Um, but it's, as Dr. McGee pointed out, those of us who have grown up in this district, whether we came to this school or not, your friends, as I was I'm a product of Catholic school, and, and my friends would say, well, you're a blue team. I said, but, but I don't go to the school. It didn't matter. You have to leave because we were discussing red team stuff, and we can't have that. Uh, it's fascinating. Um, and I so enjoyed my, my uh, high school years being able to come up here and observe and help when I could my, my friends and neighborhood that were members in the Shamity School District. So I, I'm just greatly thrilled that we're able to come back to this gym night. Um, it, it's a time-honored tradition that uh, we all need that relief and to come to that culmination and let it all out at gym night and then, again, to be able to come back together as a community. That's just awesome. And with that, uh, subject of future meetings uh we have let me see march 22nd the that says public board meeting is that correct i'm sorry i'm looking for the work session three 
March 8th is our public work session, and then on the March 22nd, we will have the um, public board meeting. And with that, sorry, one second, you'll know what's coming next. 9.05, adjournment. Second. Do I have a second? Ms. Hollenbeck, <laughs> all in favor? Everyone, I'm not even asking. Thank you. <laughs>